Hey guys, it's Jack. It is Transit Profit that you're watching right now. Sorry I've been gone for the last few weeks, but I'm here to play catch up and do this week's topic. So the two topics that I missed were how do you deal with the hardest thing, what's the hardest thing about being trans for you and how do you deal with it? Second one is style. Um, how would your style change if you were designated male at birth? Um, and third, this week's topic is feminism. And do you identify as a feminism? How do you stand up for um, feminists and women in general? So um, I'm going to start with the first week that I missed, which was the hardest thing about being trans. For me, the hardest thing about being trans is actually finding an identity that I can well identify with. Um, it's been a very difficult road. Um, you know, it's still happening right now. Um, if you've been following me on Tumblr, you know that I no longer identify as male, that I'm identifying as bi gender on the gender queer spectrum as masculine and a gender, which is the absence of gender. You can just read it on my Tumblr. I'll put a link below. But so just coming to terms with that has been very hard and I still feel like it's not the perfect I identification for me. I feel like my gender is ever changing and I'm going to be dealing for, with that for the rest of my life. And that's very difficult to come to terms with, especially for me because I love clear cut answers. I don't like things being in the gray. But I understand that most of life is gray. And it's, that's just something very hard for me to deal with. How I deal with it though, is I take it a day at a time and I say, and I look at it as if, as it, as it is, as that it is ever changing, as is a lot of stuff in life, and not just my gender, but you know, everything's changing around me, inside of me. Um, so yeah, now on to style. So um, my style is crazy. Um, I shop mainly at thrift stores like Savers. I try to avoid Goodwill because of political reasons. I avoid Salvation Army because of political reasons. Um, I love band shirts. I go to concerts. I get band shirts. I just started wearing skinny jeans again when I was when I was um, still presenting as female. All I wore was skinny jeans, and then when I started wearing more masculine clothes, it was really hard for me to find guy skinny jeans but I just found like the perfect store which is hot topic for skinny jeans because I actually sell my size um because I'm a little bit big on the waist so yeah um skinny jeans all the way every day uh I really love Doc Martens vans uh any kind of skate shoe I guess um if I was designated male at birth my style would be very different I would have I would feel more comfortable to dress a little bit more femininely, like how I maybe wear a dress every now and then, wear skirts, you know, stuff like that. I think after top surgery, though, I will wear skirts and dresses every now and then. Um, uh, my style, um, I would say it's pretty typically masculine. Uh, it's not hyper-masculine, but, uh, yeah, you know, I just wear what makes me comfortable. I wear baggy clothes to hide my curves but um besides that you know I don't really I don't know that's about it and now on to this week this week's topic is uh feminism let me let me read it being a trans feminist or defending women in any way how do you do it um so I'm very big on social justice on tumblr and in real life too, but um, it's harder for me to be in real life because I'm very shy and reserved in real life and I feel very uncomfortable standing up and saying something, it's, and I know that's really shitty for me to say, but um, I get really scared and like I can't say anything, but um, that's it's true, so um, yeah, and uh, so being a trans feminist I do not identify as a feminist because I am not a female, and I do not present as female, and I am not femme. Um, so I feel like being a feminist is not my place. I feel like I can be a feminist ally just as straight heterosexual people can be LGBTQAI allies. Um, but um, actually being a feminist, I do not identify as one because I feel like that's not my place. Um, Standing up for women 
was a lot easier when I was still presenting and identifying as female. Now I feel like I'm just sounding like very fake if I stand up for women, especially if I'm in a place where I'm stealth. Um, but um, I try to. I do it a lot more online than I do in real life. Um, I'm trying to get more unreserved unreserve myself and try to stand up for things that really matter to me um so again sorry i've been gone i'll see you guys in a while i'll see you guys next week actually because i will start making videos again bye